right, guys, we are jumping aboard another monster. We're talking about five Mercury Verados here on this scout. And we're going to jump aboard here with Josh. Josh, how's hey. it going, man? Great. Welcome aboard. First of all, look at these beach wings, man. Tell me about that. Well, it's our patented design from Scout Boats. We have these platforms that open up uh, and give the customer the ability to expand the usable space on their boat, whether they're on the dock and they can open one side or on the beach and they open both sides. So, so how much added beam do you get now with these wings wide open? We have uh, 18 feet of space back here. Uh, the beam of the boat is actually a 14 8 so we're expanding this uh, platform quite a bit back here in the cockpit. Josh, what, what model is this? And, and tell me about some of the features of, of this particular build. Uh, you, yeah. you have a sign up front that says this, this has been sold. It looks so well in the water, man. <laughs> a it few of great. them have been sold, yeah. This is our 53-foot uh, Scout. This is our 530 LXF. We debuted it at the Miami Boat Show last year. This year at the Miami Boat Show, we're debuting our very first upper station uh, sport tower boat. And it has been a beautiful hit. It is a spectacular, stunning area to use the boat entertainment platform up there it's, it's just a wonderful addition so so let's walk through the boat um, I, I want you to talk to them uh, about some of the features that that someone who may be interested in this particular build you know you can kind of like show them all the creature comforts and all the cool stuff that this boat has yeah so we, when we designed this boat in its original phase our intention was to build a high-end luxury cruising vessel and a high-end sport fishing vessel and combine those two into one so one of the biggest uh, the supporters of that is this open area back here to work fish but also our transom really unique setup where you can walk beam to beam back here it allows you to dock the boat on either side and comfortably board your passengers it also allows you to wire fish around the outboard engine so a really unique setup to scout boats back here and that door opens up on either side right both sides that's right so if you if you don't want to walk from there Lots of uh, customizable space back here in the leaning post. We have an ice machine uh, making ice into the cooler box that you can use in the fish boxes on the floor or here for a nice bottle of champagne. Well, we'll talk about that after <laughs> yeah. when the camera's off. <laughs> we have uh, a grill, a big prep and sink station here. We have observation seats here, whether you're watching your spread or hanging out with everybody um, on the boat want more space and usable space these still away nicely cushions go in the drawer down below good touch very good touch really I like nice the, usable space I, I like that the rocket launchers are a little high for someone my height to reach but we have our patented retractable rocket launcher on this model so it gives us a usability that otherwise isn't there you could clear rods while you're working a nice fish clear those excess rods get them out of the way put that back on Sure, a lot, a lot of guys are going to be happy about that. Yeah. Nice, simple, safe access up to the upper station through the center of the boat. A very unique design that Steve Potts, the owner of Scouts, was adamant about. He does not like the idea of climbing around monkey bars the outside of the boat, particularly if you're offshore um, going up there to observe tuna and look for birds. Uh, you're, you're in rough weather. It's a nice, comfortable, safe place to do that. So there's so much going on just back here. Imagine, guys, there's, there's so much more to go. We have uh, our entertainment area here. Our, uh, this area we designed to be as much a part of the action as you want to be. So if you are fishing the boat, you have people here able to observe, be completely out of the way. If you're cruising on a long destination, you have seats facing each other, which is really important for conversation, for entertainment, for communicating on the boat, having a good time. So. It was a key feature um, that we wanted to add into the boat was a, a protected area for people to ride on uh, an extended trip. We have additional weather guards um, installed on this boat. It was an optional system. Uh, a pretty unique uh, design that we created, I think. Uh, with the door closed at the dock, you don't have to reach all the way down to the bottom to unzip it and do it. We did a half zip right here so you can quickly and easily go in and out of, of the boat and then a magnetic strip down at the bottom just to hold it. That is very clever. 
And you can remove that completely if you wanted to. It can be removed completely. Um, you could remove half of it and leave, leave just the forward section. Or you could just remove the doors and, and leave the doors on. I'll tell you, I felt the wind just stop once you closed that. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So if there's, you know, maybe it's cold. I mean, it really doesn't get cold over here in South Florida, but I'm sure they're not all in South Florida boats. No, absolutely not. We've, um, we've sold them all over the world. I, I actually travel and do personalized orientations with every customer. Uh, so I've been to Qatar. And we've been obviously to Florida. We go up to the Cape Cod, um, everywhere. So, so let's go forward and... Uh, I see, I haven't seen this on uh, one of the prior yeah, ones. Yeah, nice, nice ability to control um, everything on the boat from back here so customers can operate the stereo. Uh, they can look at the, the various cameras. Uh, we, can, we can turn our lights on and off, our pumps on and off. So whether or not you're fishing or, or don't want to interrupt uh, somebody at the helm, you have the functionality uh, in totality of the boat here. Josh, is there space right here under this uh, seat? This is itself? access to our redundant systems room, so everything you can control from the garden oh. screens, uh, the redundant access to control um, the, that equipment is down here. See, this is what the people who are going to buy this boat, right? Um, the people that you do those orientations where they're like, hey, where's this, where's that? And they want to know. What, what happens if I, if I can't use my, my Garmin screens to turn things on and off? Well, here's, here's the access to every function on the boat, whether it's an overhead light, a bilge pump, a bait well pump, where you can manually operate on that, those systems. That is awesome. And I'm feeling some AC come through here. Yeah, we've got an 18,000 BTU dedicated uh, unit to this area. Um, and then an additional 16,000 BTU unit for the cabin. That is nice. Now, is there anything going on under here? Nice big storage. This is the big box. <laughs> we can utilize this for a little bit of rod storage um, horizontally. Um, we find uh, oftentimes it, it's used for supplies, uh, beach toys, towels, that, that sort of equipment. We've also utilized this box as a dedicated refrigerated box by adding cold plates to it for customers that are doing extended trips. That's what they want. I see you got a bunch of JL audio system up there as oh, well. Yeah. JL helped us design the, the system here on the boat um, and it, it is phenomenal. This particular boat has the upgraded system with additional subwoofers um, and, and speakers. It's it's unbelievable. <laughs> what do we have uh, under this seat? It's another little jump seat storage uh, under here. So this is a nice nice easy box to keep a bunch of shoes in if people are coming on the boat. Access to to that is quick and easy. We don't go flying off the boat when we're doing 61 miles an hour in this sucker. Is is that what this uh, boat does? 61. 61.2 right. is our official bulletin on this for the top speed. That's right. And what are the guys uh, cruising it at? Uh, the, uh, Optimal cruise in this boat is going to be anywhere from 30 to 45 miles an hour. It has a pretty steady efficiency throughout that range, and that's due to our stepped hull. This boat is actually all carbon fiber. So oh, our wow. hull, our deck, and our stringer is all carbon fiber, and it's epoxy infused as well. So we do that to remove weight from the boat and maintain the maximum strength in the boat. That, that's the, the benefit to the consumer is you end up driving a real sporty boat, a fun boat. And that's what center console boating is all about. Yeah, that's, that's. Uh, I'm sure the efficiency also for fuel, uh, it's it's doing pretty good for such a big boat. So up here at the helm, we've, we've got access to all of our controls. Um, this boat has a bow thruster, a joystick. We're using zip weight trim tabs. Another patented scout feature is our anchor camera. And I have it displayed on the the main screen here. This is a really nice um, camera on the front of the boat that allows you to see where your anchor is so you don't have to communicate to somebody at the bow of the boat or somebody at the bow doesn't have to communicate back to you where that anchor line is when you're retrieving it here at the helm. Got some quick button access right here so while you can control everything from the screen itself uh, we've added some quick access to some buttons you wouldn't want to have to search for your horn uh, is a key one that you don't want to have to search for right there. Also have the ability here to open these side vents. They're actually windows more than they are vents as they uh, slide all the way forward and open up this helm area. So it'll open up all the way so you can you you can just get great fresh air. That's a pretty big opening. Yeah and on a boat without a tower we do a retractable sunroof as well. This boat has a tower 
Um, so the, the standing area up there is, is important, but uh, also do a retractable sunroof. I see the sunroof here. Is this, uh, does this, uh, is this, uh, uh, this one is stationary due stationary. to the upper station, okay. but without an upper station, we utilize a retracting system. The seat, helm seat here is very comfortable standing, adjustable helm here. On a longer voyage, you can put the seats down and then set the seat height or position forward and back to your stature. That's nice. Everything to be comfortable. Yeah. Guys, got to be comfortable. Tell me a little bit about this uh, windshield here. Yeah, so at Scout, we try to eliminate as much piping and tubing as possible to open up your view. And the less of that we can have, the, the more uh, visibility you have as the captain. Um, we matte black the surface up here to reduce reflection on the glass. Um, and give yourself just a, an expansive um, view from, from the helm. So uh, Josh, I already see that all the guys that are fishing, they're doing their own thing, they're getting comfortable, you know, catching fish, and then maybe the ladies want to be with the kids and just have conversations and they'll yeah. hang out over here. Or if one of the kids wants to go inside, we got this huge cabin to go into. Yeah, you want to check out the cabin? Yeah, let's check yeah. it out. I see, I think, I think this is what, you know, gives uh, a little bit of everything. Yeah. So, so underway, of course, we would have this closed so nobody would uh, accidentally fall through. We have a nice um, push button switch to open it up for our access to it. Well, first of all, uh, first of all, I feel <laughs> that AC kicking over here in this yeah, Miami my, my weather. One critical feature in the cabin is we understand that this is still a day use boat. And in order to be a day-use boat, you're going to need a place for people to change comfortably. Um, so what we've done is created a little pocket door here in the master stateroom that you can close and people can still be coming in and out of the cabin while you're uh, in the master changing. We've also found the most uh, a critical feature in a cabin is a separate head from the shower. So you'll notice two doors on, on the front of this boat. This side is the head. And this side is the shower, so we have a dry, huge, dry head. That's huge. Uh, a lot of people would like that. Is this a TV over here? Yeah, nice, nice TV um, here. We have uh, microwave and stovetop, refrigeration built into the cabinetry, freezer, little ice machine built into the cabinetry, trash unit, little storage unit. We've got a little wine. A wine, wine refrigerator is a nice, simple feature, but uh, it's just so effective. And, and for the use of the boat. And we got a berth over here in the stateroom? Yes, yeah, forward is the, the stateroom berth. And I'll, I'll get there so you can show the other area. Oh, I love this. Is this some onyx over here? On That's exactly right. Wow. This is backlit onyx. Uh, we actually purchased slabs of stone at Scout. Uh, we cut it ourselves to fit. And, and install it ourselves as well. Guys, not many people know about Onyx. Yeah. Alfred Montaner knows about it's Onyx. It's very expensive. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> oh my goodness. But it makes for a beautiful setup. This is the aft, uh, or actually it'd be mid-berth because it's in the middle of the uh, boat. But nice, nice area. Um, whether you're using it for a couple to spend the night on or you're using it as a supply room so you can keep all your toys in. Yacht toys. Is there a hidden door here? There is. This is uh, the closet. Don't be hiding stuff from me, Josh. <laughs> I'm watching you, man. <laughs> I'm, try so I'm, many. I'm trying to see the, the nooks and crannies <laughs> of everything, guys. There's so many features on here. And, <laughs> and there's another one. Is once. there is there an access panel or something so there? This is um, that's, AC. There we go. AC I, controls for our generator and shore power. Hey, guys, smash that like, man. I get so many comments from you guys, and that's why I'm talking to these guys, asking them to show me all the cool stuff that you guys want to see. Um, is there air coming out of yes, here? Yes, so this is the... Uh, you have, uh, again, your, your ability to control the vessel from down here in the cabin without going up on, on deck. Um, and we'll, we'll go ahead and uh, take a look at the head real quick. I want them to see the head. Um, let me show them the stateroom real quick. And I like the fact that it has a separate door, but let me show them this, guys. Man, you guys have really killed it, guys. Thank you. Thank Full you. mirror here as well. Uh, I'll tell you what, you guys have knocked this one out of the park. Is this particular boat sold? 
It is. Uh, the customer that purchased this boat actually um, previously owned our 42 Scout. Okay. Last year at the Miami Boat Show, mm -hmm. the customer committed to buying the 53. Okay. And being this is hull number nine, and last year was hull number one. Uh, it's now his turn for completion. <laughs> so what are what are we looking at as far as build time for so somebody that's interested in something like this? The, throughout the, the sold boats here at the show, mm -hmm. the next available delivery slot is March of 2021. <laughs> By the end of this year, it's going to be 2027. You can... <laughs> You guys are going to go ahead and kill all your workers, man. It's just awesome that you guys are busy. I We're love that. Our American made, guys. These guys are out of South Carolina. Somerville, right? That's right. Yep, I've done my homework with you guys, guys. Um, so let's go to the bow of the bow and talk about a little bit of that, uh, Josh. Yeah, so of course, not, not to be left for least for last, but the, uh, the bow of the boat is equally as expansive as everything else we've seen. This area up here, um, one of the more unique features of it is the split entertainment tables up here. The reason we did this was so that customers wouldn't have to scooch and slide all the way around a table to get back to this area. Okay. What happens is while you're using the boat at anchor, when you're ready to pull the anchor, you don't have to tell your customers to get out of your way so you put the table down to walk up here. You can simply walk up through here with your guests sitting down comfortably and get to the anchor box here so a really nice design feature in the, in the split table here and then you still have a very large sun lounge for three people well probably five people <laughs> even well even if it's me if it's me probably me and a buddy <laughs> maybe the two of you <laughs> hey you're, you you weren't supposed to go along with that joke buddy <laughs> <laughs> all right guys we so <laughs> we have some cooler boxes up here we, we didn't want somebody to have to walk all the way to the back of the boat to get a cold drink so we uh, built in some insulated uh, foam insulated cooler boxes up here with the ice machine in the back you can put, put 10 or 20 pounds of ice in here with your drinks so if somebody's fighting a fish here they could just go completely around the boat that's it that's, that's the advantage of a center console we were offshore in charleston with the opportunity to fish one of these uh, got into a, a weed line and we were pitching baits off the bow of the boat while other uh, others of us were pitching baits off the back of the boat so yeah. that is the beauty of a center yeah, there's a lot of guys that like to fish sailfish up front and i see you got a camera up here what is this <laughs> oh that's a night vision camera so the thermal Night vision camera. Josh, stop holding out on me, man. Don't make me find stuff on camera, man. All Guys, right, I'll smash show that. You, I'll show you the other secret lights. Oh, <laughs> there we go. You see that? Guys, I'm getting everything in. Make sure you smash that like because I'm getting everything out of them. So, so this at night. Uh, at night, just illuminate the, the front with a little soft ambiance. Nice. Okay. All right. I'm not going to give you the third degree anymore. Just in case, guys, comment below. Comment below. Squeezing uh, Josh here on this monster scout. Nice storage here with a, a split box. So again, um, giving you the opportunity to store things in their place with a split box. So now, are these tables actuated? They are. They go down uh, to cushion level okay. electrically, and then there's a cushion to, to fill this out as a, another pad. So you have another pad. Mm -hmm. So everybody could just lay out there if they wanted yep. to just hang out and, you know, yep. cool. Um, All right. So I want to go up top. Let's uh, do it. So do we go, do I follow you this way or what's the yeah, fastest we, way to get we, up there? we can go up there. I like the fact that you guys have these rails here too. Yeah, nice, nice it's, support. It's nice stability. touch. Especially, you know, when you're in rough weather, you always want to be able to. All right, so here's what we're going to do because I like doing this. So they can get the same perspective yeah. we're getting, okay? Exactly. So grab this handle right here. There you go, right there. All right, guys, we're here at Scout. Let me tell you something. Sometimes people, um, sometimes people want to be in their own space, right? <laughs> yeah. And if you want to get away from everybody, this is a good spot. This is a, this is a, a true living room area on the boat uh, such so, a great uh, open space whether you're entertaining hanging out anchored at the beach or you're trolling offshore uh, with your your access to your rods right here with the gallery area right here 
So you guys in this huge center console are probably um, getting a lot of guys who have, you know, sport giant sport fishes, and uh, you know. Absolutely, the the ease of use of a center console. Uh, when we leave out of the show tomorrow, I'll single hand this boat back to Fort Lauderdale, and that ability alone is very attractive. Uh, to a lot of customers uh, in, the, in the large sport fish industry. Is there more shade up here if they wanted to go ahead and maybe, you know, pull out like uh, more we shade? We haven't up? designed a, a, a manual shade yet, but we're certainly... It's uh, something that can happen. You have full controls of the boat at the helm, um, including your joystick, bow thruster, um, and because of the digital switching on the boat, uh, we have full controls of all of our accessories too. The shade open, the... Uh, Fish, fish box pump outs, the fresh water pumps, the raw water pumps, everything, lights, all controllable at the helm. And of course, uh, like any um, car, nice little glove box here, you always need a place to stuff things. <laughs> so so can, can your nine-year-old end up turning on the radio from up here if he wants to bother everybody? <laughs> he, you can. You can control the radio <laughs> yeah, from up here. Okay. Or you can push the lock button and do... <laughs> lock this touch screen out so now it's locked out okay <laughs> yeah. trust me those kids that are nine know more about the electronics than we do yeah. absolutely so and there's more more space up here yeah nice nice integrated seating backrest. area so so theoretically if uh if uh say say the guys that are fishing they're up here they want to you know be talking getting to where they go strategizing their fishing day or whatever they're going to do they just can all hang out here here and then when they get to their spot, they go down there, they start fishing. Yeah. You know, well, th this Captain is can run from up here for a better visibility of the spread. Absolutely. And, and Josh, this is the first, This second. is the very first 530 LXF from Scout with a tower. With a tower. Yeah. That is awesome, guys. And I'm so glad that we were able to showcase it. So Josh, I normally do these walkthroughs with, uh, with uh, Alan. I, I mean, you guys have been uh, <laughs> super, I mean, swamped at the show. Yeah, Alan, our vice president of sales and marketing, he is, he's the go-to for the, the candid interviews, but as you can see, the booth here on a Monday afternoon is still, uh, still with people interested. But in somebody that. comes in there and they're gonna buy this boat, they, guess who they have to talk to? They're gonna come see Josh me. <laughs> Slayton, guys, because he's gonna do the orientation. He's gonna get you uh, uh, everything that you're gonna need to know about this particular boat, you know? With uh, so many features and, and, and options on this boat we really want you to be as comfortable as i am operating it as you are with your family we want you to get everything out of the boat that we've designed into it and the only way to do that is to spend a couple days with each customer going bow to stern on the boat explaining those features and options that is awesome so where can they go online to go ahead and uh talk to yeah to to you guys about you know Definitely. maybe a build Check us out. Um, check out the 530 LXF from Scouts at www.scoutboats.com. I got you on camera. If we're missing something, <laughs> if somebody says something, guys, smash that like down there if you think we missed something. I don't know, Josh. <laughs> hey, if you just bought this boat and there's something missing, let me know down in the comments below. We're going to have to have a talk later. All right, guys. The guys here at Scout, man, always doing incredible stuff. Don't, don't forget to check out their other lineup. Also, they're over here at the show. You guys will also be in West Palm Beach, maybe? We will be, yeah, absolutely. In the Palm Beach show. Love Palm Beach show in Fort Lauderdale. All right, guys, we're out of here. Miami 2020. Today's show was brought to you by the following sponsors. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And always remember, amazingness, that's what we do.